wanted to make a pork shoulder, which is called a benil, a very popular dish in the Spanish community. I already have a video on here um, showing how I make it. However, I was not as detailed. So this time I wanted to do it again and more detailed in this video. So check it out. Right now what you're looking at is I'm adding some cold water to rinse the pork shoulder out, the benil. And I am flipping it over on the other side, as you can see, you know. It's a good idea to use some cold water just to, you know, rinse it out, just like that. So I need to make a marinade for the panil. So basically these are the stuff that I'm going to be using, the spices, which is the parsley, the lemon, black pepper, oregano, sassone, uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, or what else? Did I leave something out. Onion powder, uh, garlic cloves, and so on and so forth. This is going to be a great marinara to add inside and out of the panil. Okay. So these are the garlic cloves that I'm going to be using. I'm peeling them and I'm adding them into the cup, the brown wooded cup right here. And this is what I use to crush the garlic which you see me doing right here. I'm going to add that into the bowl. And as you can see, the bowl, I already started doing the marinara. Uh, I added the, and I'm squeezing lemon juice right now. Uh, and I already added all the spices that I showed you earlier to make it faster. And this is what it's looking like. It's, you know, it's really, really spicy. <laughs> okay, now I am about to cut the skin as you can see here to and as i'm cutting it i'm going to pull it back the reason for that is i need to add the spice on top of the panil and i'm also going to add it inside so this is the reason why i need to pull the skin back as far back as possible and this is an awesome idea to do it this way because it gives the panil a delicious flavor oh my god so this is what I'm doing. So I am stuffing some garlic cloves inside of the pork shoulder and I punctured some holes inside as well to make it easier to stick it all inside of it and I'm, I see as you can see I'm doing it again I'm like making sure I puncture some holes in there to make it easier because you could put a little slit and slip the garlic cloves in there now this is the marinade sauce that I am adding as well I'm still cutting a little bit further back to try to make sure that I get all the marinade sauce all over the benil so that it can have great flavor. Okay, now I'm spreading it as you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm adding sofrito. Sofrito is delicious. It's a great spice to use. It really gives food flavor. And I'm also mixing it with the marinade that you just saw that I previously made. And uh, again, I am making sure that I puncture some holes and pull the skin as far back as possible to get all that seasoning and flavor inside of the pineal as well as on the top of it. So... This is going to be delicious. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and let you guys watch to see what it is that I'm doing, okay?
So I'm stuffing the paneer with some garlic cloves. That's very important to do that. It gives it a lot of flavor. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I am rubbing the benil, adding more of the marinade sauce that I created. Now I flipped it to the other side, poking some holes in there. I am going to insert some garlic cloves in the holes. I'm also adding more marinade sauce that I created on top of it, inside of it, all around, everywhere, pretty much. And uh, this is what it's looking like. Yes, and it's ready to be baked. So this is exactly what it looks like from top to well, not bottom. You know what I mean. So yeah. So I'm about to put this benil in the oven. Sorry for the blur, guys. Okay, that's better. Yes. So okay. So it's the next day. The benil is ready to be baked. So what I'm going to do is just leave it right in the same pan that I marinated in marinated it in and I'm going to poke a couple of holes in there like so what I have to do now is just let me see something. I'm going to I'm adding a little water a little bit of water in here just a, just a little bit Okay. Okie dokie. So I placed the uh, benil in the oven. But before doing that, I preheat the oven for th to 350 degrees. I will cook this benil for about two to three hours. And then I will show you the aftermath of when it's done. So it's cooking now. See you in a little while. Bye bye. Okay, so the paneer is looking pretty good. It's been cooking now for like an hour. So I am going to leave it in here for another hour or two to see because you have to make sure this is cooked really well. But it's looking good and smelling so delicious. OMG. Okay, the paneer came out really, really good. It's uh, uh, very well done. It's a little on the dark side. But hey, this is what it looks like. The paneer is looking so good. This is it right here. Okay. Smells wonderful. And this is it. The pork shoulder is prepared. Yes. How these tasting it. So how is it? It's good. It's yeah. good? My, almost right. good. See? Look. Let me get a close-up look of it. If I eat it, you know it's good. Sure. Yeah, he likes to this add... Is, this is the part that's really good. That part? When you, when you cook it up. Yeah. This is the best part of it. Really? Yeah. He likes olives in his food and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You really oh, like it? I forgot to go to TBS. You really like it? Good. So that's the dish. Let me show the aftermath of the food. Yeah, that's it. All right. So my oldest son, as you can see, my handsome son, he is about to try it. This is what the meal is looking like. Yeah, he's adding some hot sauce. They What's love themselves again? some hot sauce. Huh? What's it called again? Yeah. It's called benita. He's eating I can't, I can't pronounce it like that. <laughs> Pork shoulder. That makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> and he said pig shoulder is even worse. Let me see. Good. What? Just kidding. It's good. It's good?